have this rectangle ABCD. And it tells us, uh, Rosalind, that we have this side length here, which is how much? 33. And I'm looking at this, and I notice that we have one, two, three, four short sides to the rectangle, right? And four short sides is going to equal three long sides, right? Which means that this rectangle here is going to be a short side plus a third of the short side. Does that make sense? OK. So, so that's the premise that we're working with, that the long side is going to be the short side plus one third of the, sh uh, of the uh, short side, right? So I know the short side has to be a multiple of three. OK. So I'm trying to get, um, so I have a short side here, right? plus a short side here. No, oh no, those are two long sides, right? <coughs> so I have a short side. I'm just getting I'm getting a little bit confused. So I have a long side plus a long side plus a short side. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I know the long side is going to be a short side plus one third of a short side, right? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. Plus, well, I have another long side, which is just going to be a short side plus one third of a short side, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, I have another short side. So, how many short sides do I have? Uh, three and two thirds. I have three and two thirds short sides, and that's going to equal 33. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so I'm looking for numbers that are multiples of 3 that, when I add an extra third to them, will get to a sum of 33. Now, what Ashley did is she started thinking about multiples of 3 that could work. And immediately she thought this would be 12, this would be 12, which would make the short side 9. Or in other words, what is 1 third of 9? Three. Three plus nine is twelve. So you could rationalize your way through that one not too badly. Or we can stick with the equation. What do you feel more comfortable with at this point? Rationalizing your way through it. Okay, so at this point we're going to stop here and move on instead of going through the uh, equation. Does that make sense? Because I see some glazed eyes. Okay, so right now I would like you to flip. All right, so I do want to finish this one up really quickly. Uh, three and two thirds is equal to what improper fraction? Eleven thirds. Eleven thirds. All right, so we have eleven thirds s is equal to thirty-three. What's the opposite of multiplying s by eleven thirds? And so we would end up with. S is equal to 33 times 11 over 3 because multi uh, dividing by a, a fraction, Owen, is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, right? Okay. Yeah. So um, how many times does 33, uh, 3 go into 33? 11. Oh shoot! I uh, sorry, I didn't write the reciprocal. Th three. Th sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So the reciprocal of eleven thirds is three over eleven. What goes into eleven and thirty-three? Three. Oh, sorry. Oh my goodness. I'll I'll rewrite this. I'm sorry. I'm totally messing this up. So we have. We have s is equal to thirty-three times 3 over 11, because we're multiplying by the reciprocal of this. What goes into 33 and 11? 11. 11 goes into 33 three, 
three times. 11 goes into 11 once. 3 times 3 is? 9. So that's why the small side is, in fact, 9, just to prove what Ashley earlier said. Okay, stop it. Thank you.